Welcome to the Online Success Journey Podcast, your opportunity to discover and learn from entrepreneurs like yourself. This is not your typical podcast, but a place where you can get the real story and find out how real people encounter speed bumps and detours, but journey through to find success. Now here's your host for the Online Success Journey Podcast, Patience. Hello everyone and welcome to Online Success Journey. This is episode 44. Are you ready to join the clan? Today we have uh, Ty Crendo. Ty is an international known speaker, an author, a business credit expert. Hello, Ty. Hello. Thanks for having me today. I'm excited to be here. Thank you for coming. We are really excited here. I know the clan is anxious to hear your story, so let's get started with the basics. Can you tell my clan a little bit about your background, about what you did before you started your own online business? Take us right up to the last job or business before you are online. Sure. I um I actually got out of high school and went into the military, and um, I thought I would get to see the world, and they ended up literally stationing me less than two hours from my hometown. So that strategy didn't work out very well, and I ended up getting out of the military and uh, stayed in the healthcare field for a while because that's what I'd done when I was in the service. And eventually, I really found a passion for sales and, uh, and ended up finding a passion for uh, financial. So I kind of did a lot on the financial side. I, uh, I did a lot of financing in the auto industry. I ended up um, owning an actual mortgage company. Um, I created a, uh, a credit improvement company and built that and sold that. And uh, that kind of led me our, uh, to where I am today, which is where we do a lot of uh, business financing and business credit, uh, especially online. Wow. That's a great background, Ty. Um, what is the most dangerous brief an online entrepreneur can have? Well, I, I don't know. I mean, you know, there's a lot of, of, of dangerous things. I think that one of the most is that to, you think it might be easy. You know, I think there's a lot of gurus out there that, you know, make it out to be that it's easy to make a lot of passive income online. And, you know, my experience running an online business is just as difficult as running, you know, a brick and mortar store. You have just as many challenges. So I think that's one of the biggest challenges is that a lot of people get into it and think it's easier than it is, that they're just going to run an ad or do this, and then all kinds of people will buy automatically from them uh, with very little effort. And of course, that's not really the reality, although there's a lot of gurus out there that paint that to be the reality. Wow. Man aside, how do you know you are really successful? Well, I think that's a subjective thing. I mean, you know, I think everybody looks at successes differently. For for me personally, it's about financial stability. It's about security. It's about knowing that if something were to happen to me, that my family is taken care of. Um, so to me, that's really, truly, you know, success. And that's the end goal that I have. But I think everybody finds their own level of success. You know, I have friends that it, in their world, being successful is only getting to work, you know, five hours a week or taking a lot of vacations um, in a year. Um, I have a lot of others that think that a level of success is to get $100,000 a month in income or a million dollars a month in income, some others. So I think it's very subjective. Um, everything, everybody kind of has their own definition of success. But to me, you know, success is when you have the financial freedom to do the things you want to do, but at the same time that you're doing it on your own terms. You're working the hours you want to work. You're, you're, you're doing your job under terms that you've set and conditions you've set and barrier ba boundaries that you've established um, and making the kind of money that you want to make to have the lifestyle you want to have. I guess. What reassurance so encouragement have you got for my members of clan who are not quite there yet? Well, it, it's it's all about, you know, one of the biggest mistakes I see people make is that they don't have a clear set goal. And, and that always baffles me. I think you, you have to know where you're going, you know, and if you don't know where you're going, then you're just kind of out on the ocean with a rudderless ship, you know, and, and I think that's the problem. So first, you have to know what it is you want. What do you want? Do you want to make $100,000 a year? Do you want to make a million dollars a year? Do you want to make, you know, what is it you want? Do you want to have, um, what, what is your end goal? You know, do you want to build the business and sell the business? Do you want to, 
you know, what is it you want to accomplish? And then the second important thing is that you have to set the boundaries of what you're willing to give up to get there. And that's a very important lesson because a lot of people get into business and they think it's going to be easier than it is. They think it will consume less time than it does. And the reality is in owning a business, you will dedicate more time, more energy than you ever have working a regular job, especially in the starting phase. So you have to set the goals, then you have to set your boundaries of what you're willing to accomplish. If you want to work nine to five, set that as your boundary. If you want to work 30 hours or 40 hours or 50 hours a week, set the boundary. Once you have those two things, you know where you're going, you know what you're willing to sacrifice to get there, then I think your mind kind of goes to work to produce solutions for you. And then it's all about being prepared for the opportunities that will you know, present themselves. And in my opinion, I think success is when preparation meets all those opportunity. So a lot of opportunities, if you know where you're going, life will position you where it puts opportunities in your path. But if you're not ready and prepared to take those opportunities as they come, then you're never going to find true success. So that's kind of my own path is that you find out where you're going, and then you find out the boundaries of what you're willing to give up to get there. And then once you have those two things in place, then you kind of just focus on the opportunities that will present themselves while you keep working to be prepared for when those opportunities arise. Uh, uh -huh. What exactly is a business credit? Well, in my world, what we do is we help businesses basically obtain a credit profile and score for their business uh, that's linked to their EIN number. So you and your listeners are, are obviously familiar with you know regular consumer credit. So for example, here in the United States, the consumer credit is linked to somebody's social security number. Well, what a lot of entrepreneurs don't know is that you know your business itself, has its own credit profile. It has its own credit score and it can obtain its own kind of money without being linked to you personally. So you're not personally liable for this money. You don't have to personally guarantee it. They're not pulling your personal credit report to get approved. It literally is credit for your business that is getting approved because your business can stand on its own. So it's your business itself qualifying for the credit so you don't have to qualify um, individually and you don't have to be liable individually okay what is the most valuable thing have you ever given away the most valuable um i gotta tell you that's tough to say i mean you know when i owned a credit improvement company i'm very big on giving away everything everything i i believe that you educate you inform and that's how you bring in clients so in my world you know, we give away everything. We tell people exactly what we do. We tell people exactly how they can do it on their own without us. We educate, educate, educate on every step and every part of what we do. And then in doing so, we give people the option. If you want to work with us and let us help you do it, we would love to do it. But if you don't, then you don't have to, or you can't afford to, you don't have to. We'll teach you how to do it on your own. So we give away just about everything we do. And I think that that our trade secrets, our, our success strategies are probably the most valuable thing. So when I owned my credit improvement company, I gave away a credit repair kit that gave 100 dispute letters and the whole methodology of exactly how you dispute and what you need to do to be successful during that process. You know, in business credit and financing, we do the same thing. If, you, if they go to creditsuite.com or they look at business credit on YouTube, they'll see our channel and we give away tons of free information about how how to build your business credit step by step, everything you need to know, how to get financing, where to go, how to get it. So that to me is the most valuable thing because what's ultimately happening is we're telling people how to do exactly what we do, knowing that some will do it on their own and some will then come back to us and have us help them do it um, as well. Wow. Okay. What is the most valuable thing your mentor has ever told you? <clears throat> Well, that's a tough question because I've been taught, you know, a lot of things um, from my mentors. But I think it all comes down to 
you know, first of all, you have to take full 100% total accountability. You know, you need to be accountable for every single thing that happens. In every situation in your business, you're going to have positives, you're going to have negatives. And, and in a lot of cases, you might not have been the one that caused the negative, but you have to be accountable for everything that happens in your life and in your business. Because when you do that, then in every circumstance, even if it wasn't caused by you directly or caused by your hand, there are things you can learn from those circumstances that will make you better in the future. But you can only learn from those situations if you take accountability. And to me, that's one of the biggest things people do is, well, my customer said this and they did this and it was their fault and they did this or my employee did this or, you know, in this situation, it wasn't my fault. It was out of my control because this happened or this happened or this happened. But the reality is, is there are things that could have been said on your part or done on your part to change those circumstances. So even though you didn't directly cause the event or cause whatever happened, you take accountability for it the same. And in doing so, you then learn things you could do better to prevent those kind of unwanted circumstances to happen. So I think being accountable is a big thing that my mentors have taught me. And another big thing is that you have to be obsessed with learning and improving. You know, you have to accept the fact that you know, you don't know everything. And, and the bigger you grow a business, the less comfortable you get, the more things you run into that you just don't know. You just don't understand. You're in a whole new environment where you're learning new things. And I think you have to be obsessed with learning. Um, you know, I read a statistic that over 60% of people that graduate high school in the United States never read a book after they graduate. And that's really a crazy statistic because I think as a society, we have to be obsessed with improvement and with learning. And when you run a business, you don't have a choice. You have to get better. You have to learn. You have to constantly improve or your business won't grow. So those are probably two of the most important lessons I've learned from my mentors is you've got to be accountable. You've got to be obsessed with improvement, learning, acknowledging that you don't know everything and be willing to learn things uh, to really have a successful business. Uh, Ty, briefly, tell us about your credit suit to Docomo uh, business. Well, with our business, what we do is we help entrepreneurs get money and build business credit. And, you know, it all kind of comes down to this. We, we've we realized that it's kind of a crazy world we live in. We know that most businesses fail. We know that they fail because they can't get capital. So, you know, we've all heard the statistics. 75 to 90 percent of businesses fail within the first five to 10 years. Um, we also know per SBA and anybody else that surveyed on this topic that the second or first biggest reason for failure is that entrepreneurs can't get access to capital. They can't get their hands on the money they need. And what I've realized is that the root of this problem is that people still think they're going to go to their bank to get money when they need some for their business. And that's just not the way that it is. Banks are great sources for a lot of different things, but the business lending space is very risky. And by default, big conventional banks, they don't deal with big risk. So they're just not the best source to go to get money for a business. There's a lot of alternative lenders and alternative products and alternative solutions that work better for business owners. But the problem is, is a business owner doesn't know about those. They don't know where to go to get money. They don't know how to go to about getting money. They don't know what it takes to qualify for getting money. So that's really the solution that our company sets out to solve. What we want to do is not make an environment where the entrepreneur has to know all the things about the kind of financing they're trying to get. Just like they have an accountant, just like they have an attorney that helps them with questions in those areas, we really try to be the source of the solution in that area. When they need money, when they need credit, they can come to us. We know all the products they can qualify for. We can develop a finance blueprint to help them know, here's all the money out there you can get. Here's the terms. Here's what it takes to get approved. And then whatever they're interested in, we go to work. We shop the rates. We shop the terms. We work on securing the approvals. Um, and along the way, we also help them build business credit. So with business credit, they don't need 
need collateral. They can get as a startup. They don't need cash flow. They don't need good credit. So no matter what their situation is, we can help them get money. And we look at a short and long-term approach. We want to get them all the money they can get now. And then we also want to develop the business credit so they can get even more money at better terms. So that's what you know we do at Credit Suite is we help entrepreneurs get money and credit to start and grow successful businesses. Uh, do you just do this only in the USA or you, you do it in Europe as well? Like you, so far I'm based in the UK. Do you cover that or is just U, USA best? We deal with building corporate credit for businesses in the United States, but a lot of our clients come from Europe. They come from Canada. They come from Africa. They come from around the world and they're creating U.S. businesses and getting funding based on those actual U.S. businesses. So, you know, it's a little bit of both. We get money and we get credit for United States businesses, but a lot of our clients still come internationally because we're helping them start a U.S. business and then helping that U.S. business get money. Okay, so where do we find this um, uh, program of yours or where do we find you? (laughs) <laughs> well, we've got a, a great free guide, and the guide walks everybody through the exact four steps to build business credit. And it's available on our website, which is creditsuite.com, and that's Credit Suite, Suite spelled S U I T E, creditsuite.com forward slash E I N. So if they go to creditsuite.com forward slash E I N, they can get a great guide that'll map out the exact steps to build business credit. Um, and that really gives them everything they need to know to get started with you know, building a credit profile and score uh, for their actual business. Okay. So, Clan, there will be more from Ty in a moment. If you are finding Ty's journey interesting and you are ready to hear more, come and listen to the full version of the interview at onlinesuccessjourney.com. If you are on Online Success Journey already, click on part two of Ty's Journey and get lots more great tips you can use yourself. And don't forget, you can also access all other online interview podcast on the site as well that's a wrap clan remember success is a journey patience and tie join us in part two at online success this is not the end of the journey we hope you've enjoyed listening to part one and want to be sure you know there is a second part to this and every journey podcast at online success filled with even more success tips uplifting stories and even a bit of fun there are dozens of episodes only available to the members of the online success journey clan check out the website and click on join the clan for more information patience would like to thank you for listening to this podcast and she has a free audio gift for you at her website go to online success for instant access to this gift of course You know that listening to the journeys of others helps each of us chart our own path. So make sure you're subscribed to be notified as each new interview is posted. There are so many ways to stay connected to the online success journey and to listen in. And if you're enjoying the podcast, we appreciate your help in telling others. One of the best ways to share the benefit you get is to rate and review it at Stitcher and other sites by clicking the stars or completing the ratings form by clicking thumbs up and leaving a comment on YouTube or liking and sharing the podcast on social media. To review the podcast within iTunes, simply open iTunes to the podcast, click on ratings and reviews, then write a review. On behalf of Patience and until next time, thanks once more for listening. It is our hope that this podcast will guide you on your own online success journey.